Awarded the best TV news correspondent, the best dressed TV news correspondent, Amanda Walker with us. <laughs> and she's at the uh, <laughs> prestigious Vanity Fair post Oscars party. Uh, Amanda, it's been an amazing night for some very deserved um, people there in Hollywood. Yeah, it really has. And 12 Years a Slave was pretty much expected to win Best Picture. It was regarded as the most important film in the lineup, a harrowing topic that was a very difficult film to watch, but the topic means that that's absolutely what it should be. And a victory as well, supporting actress for Lupita Nyongo. Uh, that is a huge victory for her. She's relatively new to all of this. We're hoping we'll see her walking along here to the Vanity Fair party a little bit later on. Kate Blanchett was widely expected to win Best Actress. She got that. Matthew McConaughey won Best Actor. Jared Leto, uh, Best Supporting Actor for his role in Dallas Buyers Club. So Gravity has done very well and got the most awards tonight. American Hustle did have the, the biggest number of nominations and it hasn't done very well at all. So that's one of the main surprises of the night. But overall, it's pretty much as expected. A, a rather long uh, Oscars ceremony, the 86th Academy Award, hosted by Ellen DeGeneres, who uh, I think was regarded as a pretty safe option in terms of host. Seth MacFarlane last year was regarded as uh, doling out one too many lewd jokes. It didn't go down too well with the Academy, which is certainly known for favouring a more traditional ceremony, which is certainly what they got tonight. There were no big surprises, uh, lots of big song numbers, as uh, is normally the case uh, for the best song category. All of those went through, and aside from that, there wasn't really any on-stage entertainment. There was a running gag about ordering pizza for all the Hollywood A-listers, lots of uh, Ellen DeGeneres tweeting pictures of her with the A-listers but apart from that there wasn't really all that much going on in the ceremony and in terms of the awards it is a lot of what we expected a lot of what the bookies favourites had predicted in terms of who won what but we are hoping that's the idea anyway for all these uh, huge numbers of photographers and journalists who have been lining up here for hours that all of the winners come along here and uh, tell us what they think about having won an Oscar. It's as big as it gets in Hollywood. It is the biggest night in Hollywood and thankfully it's been a dry night. That was the big story, the big talk of Hollywood for the past few days was the uh, rain that was torrential. It's been the worst drought in California for a hundred years. So generally rain's a good thing if you're a farmer or a normal person but if you're involved in the Oscars, if you're involved in Hollywood, it was pretty much the worst thing that could happen and they were trying to clear that red carpet and stop it being a completely soggy mess and a complete washout but they seem to do that they've had a dry night tonight and uh, overall seems to have gone down pretty well um, Amanda I just want to make one quick uh, note you and I were following this um, event on Twitter and I think that the Oscars this year has all been about Twitter and um, Ellen and that selfie Yes, the selfie of to end all selfies, really, wasn't it, with her and all the uh, A-listers behind her and uh, putting that out and saying, uh, yeah, you're not really going to get a better selfie than that. Well, I'm sure there'll be lots of people doing that, particularly as they're holding their awards. But, yeah, it's really probably the first time that Twitter has had such a hold on the Oscars and uh, everybody's been talking about it. You almost didn't have to watch the ceremony to know exactly what was going on. OK, as far as the uh, parties, because that's the next step of uh, Oscar season, you're one of the biggest, Vanity Fair. Where else will all the stars be heading? Well, there's various parties around town and they all want to go to as many of those as possible, be photographed at them. Of course, the winners want to be photographed at as many events as possible with their golden statues. But Vanity Fair is certainly regarded as the one to go to, particularly if you are a winner. That's where they'll all go to. Elton John has a big party and there are other ones as well. But uh, all these photographers, I'm not sure if we can show them, Jake, uh, who are just waiting for the big stars to come along. I think that's uh, Kelsey Grammer there from Frasier, who uh, we should start to see them move into action now as all the photographers wait to get their shot of the winners. That's what they're all waiting for. But this is what we're going to see the next few hours will hold with these guys here just hoping to get the best picture they can of all the great and good of Hollywood as they come out here tonight. So it's, uh, they've done this in two parts, really, the red carpet and then uh, into the parties as well. OK, Amanda, uh, I know we'll be talking to you through the morning. Thank you very much and looking gorgeous too.